Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change an inlet water valve on your washer. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to disconnect both fill hoses. So simply remove them from the back of the washer after you've turned off the water. We'll also need to unplug the washer and then we're going to need to pull it far enough forward that we can access the back panel so that we can remove that. Now that we have access to the back of the washer, our next step will be to remove this back panel that attaches to the console. And to do so, we'll begin by taking this little access panel off first. Remove that single screw, tilt that panel, and lift it away. Then we'll remove three screws across the bottom of that back panel. And two longer ones at the top. Put that panel away and set it aside. Now to access the two mounting screws that secure that valve to the housing, you'll probably want to pull that control panel off of the washer. And to do so, all we're going to need is a thin putty knife. We'll come in on either side. And if you wish, you can just put a little bit of painter's tape on that putty knife so you don't damage the surface. Slide it in underneath the end of that end cap until you meet the resistance of a spring. And we're going to push firmly back on that spring to release it and lift up on the control panel at the same time. Do the same on the opposite side. Now we release those two spring clips. Now just give a little bump to the back. That will release two hooks on either side. And then push the control panel far enough forward that we can access those two screws. Now our next step will be to remove the two wire harnesses that are connected to that valve. So just pull the connectors off of the valve and if they're on there tight you may take a small flat blade screwdriver and just pry them backwards or grasp them with a pair of pliers and pull them straight off. Take note of the color codes on those Two terminals to make sure that we attach them to the proper cell mount. And just remove the two mounting screws. And just rock that whole valve of the housing. To make sure that both of the grommets go with the valve. We can then discard the old valve. Take our new one. You may wish to just wet those two grommets so that they'll fit easily into the two openings. Then we'll just line them up, press it firmly into place, make sure that both of the mounting tabs sit firmly on those posts. We'll reinstall the two screws. wire harness connectors. Make sure they're on both tight. Then we'll take our control panel. We'll line up the four hooks on two on either side. The two rear openings in that main top. Make sure it's pushed all the way back. And then just press down on the front to lock in the spring clip. that's locked in place, we can go ahead and put the back panel on. We'll begin by putting the two longer screws in at the top, and the three across the bottom. And then the cover over that access port and the screw that retains that. 
And now we can push the washer back into place. Now when reinstalling that control panel, we want to make sure that we have both of those hooks into the respective slots on that main top. Pushed all the way back and then simply press down on each corner at the front. Until it locks in place. And now we can put the back panel on. So we begin by tucking the bottom of that panel in first and we note that there's a notch on both sides that needs to be engaged with that support bar across the back of the cabinet. So line those up first. And we'll also need to set that plastic clip to the notch on that left hand side. Then just line up the screw holes and install the screws. Now, once we have that back panel secure, we can go ahead and push the washer back into position. We're now ready to reconnect the fill hoses and the power, and our repair is complete. Mm -hmm.